Dare to whisk him away was something few of them had seen before. Certainly not on the doorstep, a helicopter. The day the helicopters landed, my father and workmen were here digging potatoes, picking potatoes. And the story he always told was they were down in the bottom part of this field and they could hear the chup 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 of the helicopter coming along. And they expect two huge helicopters came in, circled around the farm for about maybe three or four minutes and then landed up in the field just above this field. And he ran up the field and the workmen came up the field and they used a small little ten foot iron, cast iron gate there. And he said they would out across the gate into the field as close as they could get. And he seen Hendy walking from one helicopter to the other helicopter, gave him a wave, got into the helicopter, took off, and that was it. Yeah, it was very, very unusual. But as they were in, this is the very area where it happened. We saw them come across those trees just there. John was a baby at the time, he doesn't remember. Mm -hmm. well, a few months old. A few months old at the time, but yeah. it wouldn't be unusual today to see a couple of helicopters, but it was very, very unusual then. Was that the first time ever you seen a helicopter out of a water? Probably was. Probably was. Probably was the first time I ever saw yeah. a helicopter. Yeah. You know, other than maybe in a picture. We hadn't even got television at all yeah. times. Ever since that day, I think my father had christened the name on the field, Kennedy's Field, and ever since then it's been always been called Kennedy's Field. There to whisk him away was something few of them had seen before. Certainly not on the doorstep, a helicopter.